All right. Hello, everybody. I am MadMegX381, and this is The Lucky Dime Caper, starring Donald Duck. Uh, so, uh, we're gonna get uh, started here pretty quick. Um, this is just the setup for the story. Um, Uncle Scrooge gives uh, Lucky Dimes to each of the three nephews. And uh, you can see Magica in the corner there, like, watching. You know, she's, uh, she's plotting, you know, because she's Magica to spell. And, uh, long story short, uh, she, you know, she kidnaps the nephews and then I gotta go save them. Um, and the reason I gotta go save them is because I'm a good uncle and I care about my, uh, and I care about my nephews. So we're gonna get started in three, two, one, go! Alright, so we get this nice little, uh, red airplane that we get to, uh, to ride. Uh, so this is a Sega Master System game. This was, I don't believe, ever released in the United States. Uh, it was released on the Game Gear in the United States. Um, but we play the Master System version. Uh, I I learned this game for a uh, Discathlon in 2019, and I just kind of uh, just totally fell in love with it. Uh, it's such a cool little platformer. Uh, I think the sprite work is awesome. The music is pretty good. And, uh, actually it's, it's not pretty good. It's, it's, it's very good, I think. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun to play. So, uh, that's the first stage. We're coming up to our first boss is this bear with a beehive stuck on his head. Uh, he's not having the best day ever. Oh, okay, cool. We got the first skip. So at the end of each of these stages, uh, we've now rescued Louie. Uh, oh didn't hit my timer. I, I thought I hit the hit my foot there. It just uh, completely uh, ignored it. Wow, that's uh, I have a foot pedal that uh, every now and then uh, it, it just ignores me when I when I stomp on it. So I guess uh, add about a minute and 50 seconds there. All right, so All right. Uh, now is the second stage. Um this stage, uh, oh, wow, that's, that doesn't happen very often, I just got hit there, that's unfortunate, um, oh, that's really unfortunate, uh, because normally I would, I would, like, lean back and hit that, uh, that bird there with my mallet, which I no longer have, uh, when you get hit in this game, you lose whatever weapon you, you, uh, are carrying, uh, so I'd like to just point out the fact that Donald is both a duck and a sailor, and this is what he looks like uh, when he swims. So uh, we're actually going to take a quick intentional death here. Uh, the reason why we did that, like I said, is uh, you lose your mallet when you take a hit, and... Uh... Oh my goodness! I just bounced on everything. This happens! This this does happen. Uh, so, I, while I love this game, it is, um, it can be very unforgiving, um, and sometimes the hitboxes just don't do what you expect them to do, um, and that can be a real problem. But that's okay, I did all of that so that we could, uh, see this quick fight. Hopefully we get a, uh, a, a fast fight here. Oh god, as I drop into a pit, oh no! That probably means we're going to have a continue here, so that's all right. We know for a fact this isn't a world record, and there's a reason why uh, the uh, world record in this game is under 16 minutes, and uh, I have this as a 20-minute estimate simply because that kind of stuff can... Ha what is going on with my mallet here? Uh, I swear to God I've played this game before. You, you, have, to, uh, you have to believe me. Uh, it, it absolutely happened. That is something we don't want. That's the Frisbee. That is the Disc of Evil. Uh, we don't want that. Uh, so all of that was really just to show you guys, uh, Donald Swim again. I, that, that's all that was about. Because I can't get enough of this animation. It just brings me so much joy. And, uh, I hope it brings you joy as well. So we're gonna, we're gonna fall in the water again. <laughs> oh, this is great. I swear, every time I run this game in a marathon, some new random nonsense occurs to me, and it's just hilarious to me that it is always this way. Uh, Alright. 
There we go. Now let's do this again, and let's not screw it up entirely, huh? There we go. So, when you have Donald and he's, like, wobbling there and he's gonna about to fall off, uh, it, do it prevents him from going to the center of the screen and walking over. So what you'll see here is... Uh, the stage two clear is, like, all that text is far to the right. Uh, and normally it's dead center, but the reason why it's, um... Uh, why it's it's off there is because we were further to the right than we normally would be. So that's that's two out of three nephews rescued. Um, let's uh, let's walk under this guy. He's gonna jump because he's afraid of Donald. Um, he doesn't want any part of me. I'm one bad duck. Uh, I don't blame him. Uh, also because this is a Donald Duck game, I I expect to get. Uh, oh really? Ah. <sighs> I, I'm I'm just all over the place here, folks. That's all right. We get to show off the power of the Master System. Look at this incredible. Um, you know, this is a this is what we this is like a physics problem where you have the inclined plane and you have the rock the 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 rock sliding down the uh, frictionless inclined plane. That's all this is. Um, you know, so we put that to good use. If you jump here at the right time, you can actually maintain some of your velocity and get into this area a little faster. Uh, we're gonna try to kill these guys. Okay. Uh, because of that, uh, I was trying to kill them to hopefully get a mallet back, and because it didn't happen, uh, we're going to just take a death again. That's another intentional death here. Um, I'm gonna walk back a little bit. Should be good setup here now. Uh, if we lose our mallet again, we're in a world of hurt. Uh, now, now we're in a lot of trouble here. Because this thing is in the way. Okay, we're good. It's pretty ugly right now, folks, but we're going to make it through. I promise. It's just not going to look very nice. Whew! Now I don't know what cycle I'm on. I don't know where these, where these things are coming from. <laughs> Everything's all kinds of messed up. It's cool. Don't even worry about it. What I'd really like from one of these guys is a one-up, and I didn't even hit him, so that's all right. Sorry, we're going to take that a little slow. We're going to kill this guy? Yes, one-up. All right, now we have a little bit of safety. That's all I ever wanted was just a little bit of safety in this game, because, again, it can be super, super unforgiving. Um, so, one of the cool things is on this little, like, friction frictionless plane as I was saying if you hold uh, the the hammer button he'll just do this non-stop and I think it looks hilarious so I do that sometimes um, but this is just Donald you know trucking it down this hill uh, it like the spread the sprite is moving at it, it uh, like 50% extra speed it looks super funny I love it um, <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad you're not worried empty eye I'm terrified right now all right so we have to hit that guy twice and we break up that part of the ghost now we get this side. Oh, now there we got two. And bonk. There. Okay. Whew. So I'm going to take a breath here because this has been, this has been a start. I'll tell you what. Um, so this is what the stage clear is supposed to look like. It, it only looks like that in the other stages because we screwed up the, uh, the, the placement. So now we've rescued um, all of the nephews. Uh, and now they're talking about how they were able to get... Um, uh, you know, so, so they stole the dimes and the kids. The dimes are now missing, and now Donald has to go get the dimes. Easy enough. Uh, but but Donald because he doesn't do anything for anybody. He's always he's always about making that paper So he's he's like reward. I need my reward and, and, and Uncle Scrooge promised him some some money uh, to help. Uh, well, he promised him a reward to rescue the kids so um, You know, that's that's the whole reason why Donald's out here risking his life is that uh, the richest duck in the world has promised him uh, Some sort of reward and as we all know Uncle Scrooge is not stingy by any stretch. Okay. So, wind is a thing in this stage, and it's not pleasant, um, but what's awesome is, is that we get to see, uh, Donald be cold there. He, like, when he's shivering, it's, 
Another one of my favorite sprites is him just being cold. Um, it's, it's incredible. So this snowman, he throws other snowman heads, and uh, we, we, we jump onto him. Oh, we're gonna grab that, because... Okay, cool. Oh, I was in that sprite. I disagree, game. That's okay. We can make it through this section and then take another intentional death, uh, which is nice because we actually just got a, uh, just got another one up, so we should be in good place here. Okay, this guy needs to run away. Why are you not running away, please? Thank you. There we are. Okay. So now we do the same thing, uh, and now we're in the, uh, boss room, so we're gonna take a quick death here. Also, it's awesome to be able to show off his death there is that he just turns into a block of ice. <laughs> It is hilarious. He's just suddenly frozen into a solid block of duck ice. So now we have to just smash these birds with a hammer. Uh, that's a thing. And we're going to do that um, hopefully relatively efficiently. Uh, we don't want to jump on them. Jumping on them is like your next method of attack in this game. And it does not do near as much damage. So ideally... Uh, you, you, you keep the mallet the whole time, you never take damage. Um, the, the fastest way that you can run this is, is to not take damage, use the hammer, and this is the first stage where we'll see a little bit of, um, clipping that you can do in this game. It's very minor in this stage, but it is very helpful. Um, and I'm a big fan of it in this stage. Uh, there's a, there's a screen on this stage that is just really really tough to do fast and you can do it way quicker and more efficiently uh with with a uh, clip towards the end here but so now we're in um we're in hawaii so it's hot there is what i'm is, is what i'm told uh never been so I'm, I'm going to assume well uh we're gonna go for that jump cool so that that jump is actually pretty tight i've been getting that lately in practice uh not that anybody would believe that i've ever practiced this before given how it started um but that's okay uh, I wouldn't blame you if uh, if you didn't believe me. Okay, that was a thing. So we jump at these so that we don't get hit. We walk off here and immediately jump, and you will never get hit by that random lava bomb that like shows up there. But you need to have the hammer to be able to do that because otherwise you end up walking into uh, that that fellow there. So you can also jump over that uh, lava spitting face monster, but. Uh, that one's a little tighter, and I'm not in the mood to uh, risk it, given where we're already at on this run. <laughs> so let's uh, let's take it a little little safer here. Now we have, uh... huh? Okay, it uh... some of our uh, our our little drops here that melt these ice blocks. I don't know how these ice blocks are here, much less how they're reforming. But you know, hey, they the. Uh... The Donald is uh, sweating uh, image there, where he's just like, <sighs> is is super great. But I also love his angry when you when you stand still too long. He's pretty, you know, he's not happy about that. He doesn't want to be standing still. He's like Sonic. He's got stuff to do. His idle animations are uh, they're they're next level. It's it's fantastic. It's like, what are you waiting for? We gotta go rescue the nephews. Well, we already rescued them, but I want to get <laughs> get that reward from Uncle Scrooge. I want that money. So I this this is like the longest worst section in the game. I, if if there was a a clip or something that could be done to avoid this, I would be uh, I would be ecstatic, and it would probably assure you an instant world record in this because um, this is one of the longer sections in the in the game, and it's it's very time consuming, unfortunately. So we just stand here and we just wait for lava to drop from the ceiling to melt these blocks for us. Luckily, it, it's not too hard. There's only two pattern of drops that fall, so you can kind of just stand in one place and not worry about it too much. You can walk back and forth a little bit. So I'm going to stand here in the dead center. And you want to go in the left door. You go in the right door, you go back to the beginning of the stage, and you don't want to do that. So this is that clip I was talking about earlier. You jump on that, and now suddenly you have super height jump, and we're off screen. There we go. So this screen, if you're trying to play it where you're actually supposed to be, is awful because that guy, like, shooting fireballs at you is a real pain in the butt. So it's really nice to be able to just avoid him entirely. 
So I'm going to take this little safe because this guy's been giving me, uh, giving me trouble. Uh, so I'm just going to wait. There we go. Oh, cool! And I was able to get a little bit of a, little bit of an extra movement there. That you can tell that the stage five clear isn't quite centered. It's barely not centered, but it is. It is. Uh, it is not quite centered. All right. So now we're uh, we're in Egypt, uh, as you can tell by the pyramids in the background, because uh, that that seems reasonable. Oh, you know what? We're gonna grab this. Uh, you know what? Because, you know, I learned my lesson, so I, I walked past a 1-up in the very beginning of this run, and I have been punished for it ever since, and, uh, I have learned, I've learned my lesson, do not look a gift 1-up in the mouth, and we're not gonna do that, we're gonna take it. Alright. Ah, remember what I said about that? I uh, ignore me, I lied to everybody just now. I didn't mean to, it just... It just, it just happened there. I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> let it be a lesson. See? See? What did I tell you? I shouldn't have let... I should not... I should have grabbed it. But I didn't. And now... Now the game punished me. Uh, it, it decided that um, I was going to get hit by those sprites, even though I was swinging my hammer at them. So that's fun. That's A-OK. -okay. That is a thing that happens in this game, like I said. We're, we're just going to be a little more cautious than we would be originally. Uh, I keep saying that, and then I keep getting hit because I'm not playing cautious. So, I don't know. Maybe just don't ever listen to anything I ever tell any of you people. Just just don't ever trust this guy here. Oh, wait. Wait for it. Oh, wait. Can we get that? That's the question. We might not be able to get this one, but I feel like at this point I have to try. Okay. Woohoo! All right. There we go. Everything should be right in Duckburg now. Whee! So those drop randomly. Those can randomly hit you. It's super awesome. Now here's another section. <laughs> here's another section where we just wait. There are two patterns you can get. Neither one is faster than the other. They're just two different patterns that take the, the same amount of time. You really don't have to care about it. Um, but I'll, I'll know. Uh, so we're getting this pattern where there's just going to be this opening in the center here. And I can just stand here and wait now, so nothing nothing happens for a little while. So he's mad at me because uh, I'm not playing, but it's not my fault I'm not playing. I have to wait, man. Like, you know, there's stuff going on. Oh, boy. There we go. Got a little dicey there for a second. You know what? Let's not take the the, the uh, leap of faith at that, at that scorpion. Let's not do that. So that's, that's nice and easy, pretty consistent. We're going to jump here, here, here. We're going to do a safety jump, jump super high so that bat, because that bat can hit you while you're transitioning through that door. It has happened to me, and it is, uh, let me tell you, I have, I've lost very, cl very good runs to that. Um, so we're not going to do that here. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, now we get to fight uh, the last of these, like, crow bosses. Okay, I see what we're doing here, game. I'm not going to, I'm not going to let you, you know... Not, not gonna let you mess with me again here. Oh, and so we get, like, the worst snake spawn. That's okay, though, because we're able to just, just hammer that bird. No problem. So that's the last of the boys' lucky dimes. So now we have... We, we've rescued three nephews and three lucky dimes. Now we all... Now all we need is, is, Uncle, is Uncle Scrooge's uh, lucky dime. Luckily, uh, that is in Magicka's castle. Uh, which is where we're gonna go, and this is 100% the, uh, I think this is the best music in the game. Uh, I love it, so I'm gonna try not to talk too much. Um, I'm gonna jump on this guy. Do we get the cross? No, man. So you can get those so that they make like a, like a, like an X on the screen when you transition, and it just makes me happy. So here's a, uh, here's a skip that we do. Uh, that skips a whole bunch of, like, really difficult platforming, and we don't have to do it anymore. Which, uh, I am definitely a fan of not doing difficult platforming if I can, you know, break the game instead. So that's what we do there. Here we have these guys with their spikes. We have to walk here. When this drops, you can just hold left. Just walk right on through. Nothing to worry about. You just 
trundle along all cocky like cuz you're you're one tough duck. Here we're going to we're going to break uh, the screens again. That's also a warp you're not supposed to do, but the way that this stage is laid out, uh, it allows for that. So we do it. Oh no, that's okay. We're going to we're going to go over here. We're going to take an intentional death here so that I can get the hammer. Uh you can beat the last boss without the hammer, but it's practically impossible, so don't even worry about it. That, uh, that, like, screen warp thing that we did at the end of the Hawaii level, you can do here, but it's actually faster to just run through this screen. And we're coming up on Magicka here. Uh, we're gonna jump on this ghost, jump here, and we're gonna break her, uh, crystal ball, and that's time. So that was probably, like, 21 minutes, all told, so my apologies for being a little, uh, a little over time here on that, but that is the Lucky Dime Caper, uh, starring Donald, or the, the, the Lucky Dime Caper starring Donald Duck. That was a game. <laughs> I apologize it was so sloppy in the beginning. That happens uh, with this game sometimes. Um, but this is great. Uh, Donald wants his, uh, he wants his reward, so Scrooge is gonna, gonna hook him up, right? What do, what do we get? He gets a Lucky Dime. All of that work, and Scrooge is like, here you go, buddy, you get a lucky dime. <laughs> so, thank you to everybody at RGL, uh, um, thank you to everybody watching, uh, thanks to the tech crew for doing a tremendous job this whole week. Uh, this is my last run of the event, um, stick around, we got Little Mermaid coming up with, uh, with KLM, and that is an awesome run, you don't want to miss it, uh, it's such a fun little game. Um, so, that's it for me. Stick around and continue enjoying this awesome Disney block.